Elizabeth II was born Princess Elizabeth Alexandra Mary on April 21, 1926 in London to Prince Albert, Duke of York, later King George VI, and his wife, formerly Lady Elizabeth Bowes-Leon. Her Majesty was just 25 when she acceded to the throne. Queen Elizabeth celebrated her Diamond Jubilee in 2012, making her one of Britain's longest-serving monarchs. In 1936, the course of Elizabeth's life changed with the death of her grandfather, King George V. Her uncle became King Edward VIII, but he only ruled for six months. He was in love with an American socialite, Wallace Simpson. He chose her over the crown. Elizabeth's father was next in line. He became King George VI on December 11, 1936. Appointed Colonel-in-Chief of the Grenadier Guards by her father, Elizabeth made her first public appearance inspecting the troops in 1942. She also began to accompany her parents on official visits within Great Britain. In 1945, Elizabeth joined the Auxiliary Territorial Service to help in the war effort. She trained side by side with other British women to be an expert driver and mechanic. Elizabeth first met Philip Mountbatten, son of Prince Andrew of Greece, when she was only 13. She loved him instantly. They made an unusual pair. Elizabeth was quiet and reserved, while Philip was boisterous and outspoken. They got married in 1947. The couple had four children, Prince Charles, Princess Anne, Prince Andrew and Prince Edward. On February 6, 1952, King George VI died and Elizabeth took on the responsibilities as the ruling monarch. Her official coronation took place in June 1953 in Westminster Abbey. Queen Elizabeth held weekly meetings with the country's Prime Minister, starting with Winston Churchill and every leader after him. As head of the Commonwealth, she traveled extensively, journeying to Jamaica over five times. Since Jamaica's independence, the Princess Royal has presided over the opening of Parliament on two occasions. This Parliament has been one of the significant institutions for the fashioning and strengthening of your democratic society. Queen Elizabeth also made groundbreaking visits to other countries as a representative of Britain, including her historic visit to West Berlin at the height of the Cold War. The Queen also went to Germany, becoming the first monarch to tour the country since World War I. The head of state saw the monarchy come under several attacks during her lifetime, including death threats against the royal family and murder. Still, she maintained her quiet strength and ruled with dignity and grace. With the influence and demands of the 20th and 21st centuries, Queen Elizabeth modernized the monarchy. She dropped some of its formalities and made some of its sites and treasures more accessible to the public. She also welcomed the elimination of the Civilist, which was a public funding system of the monarchy dating back 250 years. Her Majesty handled 430 engagements each year and supported more than 600 charitable organizations and programs. We pay homage to Her Majesty, Queen Elizabeth II. 